Brandy glass, which only has about like that much brandy in it. He died. <gasps> he died. Really? Another actor um, basically went to a party. He was feeling bad and he took some cold medicine. And then he went to the party and he was drinking heavy. He, 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 he was in three oh. days in a coma in his home. Because, you know, he basically, he in the middle of a divorce problem, and people were being oh, away no. from him. So he laid there, in the, on, you know, on the floor for three days in a coma. He could have been saved at any time. But cold medicine. Oh, gosh. To, uh, you know, he, he, he shouldn't have died. Have thought, he should have No, these things, they all tell you. They tell you don't mix it with alcohol. Don't mix it with alcohol. Yeah, and a lot of times you're thinking, oh, you drink your medicine, you drink your alcohol. No, it doesn't mean like that. It I means know. you had your medicine and it's in your system. It's in your system, but it doesn't get out of your system. It's like the alcohol that stays in your system. So we're being... Uh, and they say, well, we're trying to spoil your holiday. No, no we're sorry. trying to make certain that you're here tomorrow. Yeah. We'd really like you to be here tomorrow to see what we're doing. I don't spoil. Okay. I, no, we're just, yeah, we're just no, trying to keep her alive. No, I'm trying to keep her alive, for instance. We'll tell people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she's, this is an allegory. She's going to Las Vegas probably for, for New Year's, which I, you know, and they want to come back the same day they're going. The problem is no, the next day. that, well, it's still, it's still the same 24-hour period. Is driving up, going to the parties, and then coming back. The next day. But it, okay. no, but it's the same difference. Somebody has to drive. And since I can't figure out how to make the god darn car go forward, it's not mine. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, I sat there. I mean, I had, I went and, I went, and, I actually went and called the people at the Prius company. Oh, did you? How the hell do you make that thing go forward? Well, you just do this. I did that. And they said the car won't go forward, and they said, well, that's strange. <laughs> yeah, I love it. That's strange. That's the people at, at, at Toyota. Well, that's strange. I get this stuck there. I mean, it just sat there. It sounds really beautiful, but you go, vroom, vroom, and go forward. And since she doesn't drink, and she also, okay, um, she does not like driving long distances. And you're talking about going there, going to a party, which I notice she'll be. You know, she'll she'll drink about 30, 40 bloody. She, uh, you know, uh, 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 I'll drink Shirley Temples. 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 She's water. she's done. I think she done like 10, 11 Shirley Temples at one night over at the Tau. Okay. So you know, <laughs> that guy. He said that they knew who she was because at the end of the night they were bringing her to Shirley Temple because they, oh this is the one that drinks Shirley Temples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they knew who she was. Only one in the place drinks Shirley Temples because it was one. Okay, we can put it this way. The gentleman, the Bodog, knows how to throw parties, folks. Yeah, he, he throws a party. That's still the best one out that, of all. You know, I mean, we had the pussycat dolls. We had the uh, we had the Chinese acrobats. We had all. We had we had food like we had we had ice cream bars. We had we had every type of thing. Basically, was it was still, a Roman orgy. So, that was still by far. Naked girls in bathtubs. Singer dancers. I mean, everything you could say, but it was a party. But um, you know, but uh, that's the way it works. But I do, I know. You don't. If you're going to go out of town, do not come home in the same 24-hour period because somebody has to drive. Somebody has to drive. And the further you go, the more difficult. I, I don't, I, I don't mind. I mean, like when we go to Sundance, I'll be doing most of the driving because I love to drive. I sit there and. I really like to stargaze at the road. So, but she can, I mean, it's going to be her driving back. And, and also, don't, here's another one. Uh, 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 we're getting close to the end of the thing. Don't go to New Year's parties with someone that has a pumpkin hour. <laughs> that is the biggest thing. Someone will. I can't, I have to be home after midnight. No, don't do no, that. No, it's not me that has a pumpkin hour. No, she basically, well, we were at 4 o'clock in the morning and she was still going at the Franco party It, it last just year. happens to be that one of the friends that, that wants to go... Has a pumpkin hour. It's hard. At, at 12 o'clock she turns, you know, she's like Cinderella. She turns into a pumpkin at 12 because she uh, she's not a night person, which a lot of most people aren't. You know, she's not a night person either, but she, she does like to have a good time. Actually... It reminds me, is party with people that are compatible or have your own, own, own rights. Okay. We do know one of the people 
When I say compatible, it's like compatible partying styles. No, one of the young ladies she's going with is a dancer. She loves she to loves dance. dance. She loves so dance. She can dance all night. Because she is a dancer. She is really good at it. I mean, you know, you've seen her. She's a move. She's actually a movie star. She's a cult movie star. She's Playboy magazine, but she can shake it all night long. She wants to shake it. So pumpkin hour is not a good thing for her. And, and also, okay, we're going to do pumpkin hour. We're going to do the Latin, one of the last things. Don't go with somebody that just often leaves all of a sudden. <laughs> you know, they get bored with the party and they leave. <laughs> it's never a good thing to have happen because you have a where they go, you know. And, um, and, and, you know, this is one of these nights when you will not have cell phones on. So if somebody leaves, they'll do, well, I left you a message. Oh, I don't have my cell phone. So, <laughs> oh, I Well, it's one of those things. It's like you have to have a backup hour because number one is... Um, you need a place to meet at a certain time, pure and simple. Or you can just go back to your hotel room. Yeah, which she, they don't have. Well, you don't go unless we have. No, you don't have. That's the problem. That's the problem. You don't have. Um, Somebody decided late. Yeah, so, um, but those are, you know, my pieces of advice because, I mean, well, for instance, I want, I want an honest big chick here, than, you know, two days later. So, <laughs> I'm figuring if she goes, she, you know, I mean. You mean it, because if I go, you're going to be worried the whole time? Well, absolutely, because I'm not driving. So. And yeah, so, it, um, I, oh, I still drive fairly well. I got in that crappy age where you have to go take a driver's test every time to prove that you can drive. Oh, and this is one that goes without saying, which is when you plan your evening, you know, they plan on either A, you're drinking, or B, you're not drinking. Because you either A, need a designated driver. Yeah. Right? You're taking a taxi. Yeah. You have a limo driver. Yeah. Or you're spending the night. Yeah. Here, so plan ahead. Here's a thought if you possibly can do it. Say you're you're going to out of town, you know, like there's a gambling thing or something, like here is Las Vegas. There are buses that run from the from Los Angeles to Las Vegas for this for you know, on a daily basis. They run multiple times a day. Like think about I did know, suggest that they didn't want to. Well because they want to set the bus. Well they want to go I don't know. So I could always, I could always, I could get on my motorcycle and ride along behind. Me. You know, it's cold out there when I want to get on a motorcycle. It's not fun to ride 250 miles on a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. So, but um, those are my thoughts. The idea is to eat, drink, and be merry, have a lot of fun, but be able to be, be able to function the next day. So that's my advice. I mean, I, I yeah, that's a good one. Eat, drink, and be merry. Yeah, and you can indulge yourself, but it, it, it's is the main thing is know your limits. Mine is I have no limits, and I'm so old that this doesn't make any difference anyway. Yeah, so but uh, most people, it's just like we cook in a microwave. We continually tell people on our microwave cooking show you have to know what your microwave will do. Think of your body as that microwave. You have to know what you can personally handle, and you just sit there and put that little thing in your head. You know, I can't eat anymore. I can't drink anymore. You know, and um, it, that's the whole trick. You know, know your body, know your limits, and you'll be able to survive it. Because most people actually, okay, they don't get killed, but a lot of people really get sick the next day. I understand it is the, here's a good one, it is the second most toilet flush day in the United serious? States. Yep. Well, that should be another thing is how to recover from a hangover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we've actually, we've been through that. Okay. Okay. What is the most flush toilet day in the, in the United States? Super Bowl Sunday? Yep. <laughs> yes, I got it. See? And here's the question. Why is it the second most flush day? There's two reasons. Why? One, you, you don't. Uh, own alcohol, you just lease it. Ah. And basically, it's going to come out. One way or another, it is going to come out. So, you know, I think one way is, is better, the other way is not pleasant. So, oh my God. Yeah. Because, 
you, you, you do not want to wake up in the morning next to a young lady that's basically, uh, so. Well, and actually, you don't want to be the person that's, like, really sick. Yeah. And you, you don't want to be, as they call it, worshiping the porcelain god. Yeah, because I can do remember my, you know, I should Although sometimes, if, if you know what you're doing, you just do it and get it out of your system. Yeah. But when you don't have any control over it, and you're like, Bleh. Yeah, oh, but I, 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 I caught that with Angelique the first time she was doing that. She was much smaller than I was. I picked her up. <laughs> you know, under an arm, and I carried her and held her head over the toilet. <laughs> you know, and I wouldn't go to, you know, we're talking, we, were, you know, we spent a god awful fortune for silk sheets and silk this and, and a comforter, oh and we gosh. had carpeting that she wanted, and you know, like a pack of carpeting, folks. You know what does that cost? You know, to make her happy. I worked really hard to get that, so I pick her up. I sat there and I, over her. <laughs> like this, in. and then I go like that. Now <laughs> she said, "I, you know, you realize what you just did to me." 